What's up guys, this is my third time recording this, because the first two, my um, microphone actually wasn't recording, and I didn't realize it. So uh, I'm sorry if I'm going to be I'm going to be really quick about this. So I'm going to show you how to use the Cronus device to use a keyboard and mouse on your PS3 right here. You're going to want the Bullseye software, which you can get from ChronusDevice.com/downloads. Blah 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 blah. You're going to want to hook the mini USB cable into your actual Cronus device, and then hook that USB cable into your computer and then plug the actual Cronus device into your PS3 and then if you open up the Bullseye software you can control your PS3 through the Bullseye software. Now for Black Ops 2 which is what I normally play I found the Black Ops 1 controller layout to be the best but if you want to change it up you can, al you can always create a new uh, layout I've already done in the past two tutorials, so um, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. For the Call of Duty default Black Ops One, they have it just about as if you were playing Call of Duty on the PC. Everything is the same except for well that I can that I use anyways on Call of Duty is you throw a stun or a tactical grenade by using Q. I'm used to using 4. Maybe I'm... I don't know. Maybe I'm just using a different Call of Duty than... Maybe they change the controls. I don't know. But I'm used to using 4. So if you wanted to change that, it is locked by default. But if you unlock it, you can right-click, and then you can press whatever key you want to change it to. Now I'm just going to try and get used to it, how it was on default, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But some things that can be noticeably different about playing on the PS3 rather than PC, I just clicked that by the way. Um, for example, whenever you go to pick up a gun or something of that sort, you know, like skip kill cam or something, you hold the F key, whereas on this, there is no F key, you have to hold square to um, pick up a gun. So, whenever you're ready, you have your keys set all up. Oh, shit, one more thing that I forgot. Uh, unlike the PC, you know, obviously, the PC, you have to manually hold press and release to aim down sight. So instead of like the PC where you click it and you're aiming down sight until you click it again, this you have to continually hold it so they have aim down sight L1 and jump right click. So if you can imagine trying to right click and still try and aim, holding the space bar I guess is much easier so far anyways, then um, holding down the right mouse button. The only problem that I see with that is using the dual wheel like I just did. You have to hold down the space bar and left mouse button, which I'm not used to. I'm just holding down left mouse button and right, right mouse button. But uh, that is about it. Like I said, you hit R to skip the kill cam and you hold, have to hold down well for the default anyways you have to hold down this the knife in this game is broken I swear to god we get over a person you have to hold R to pick up their weapon instead of F like I'm used to but that is about it I, I'm, I'm not used to the aim assist and using this is my only second day using it so I'm not the expert yet but hopefully in the future I'll get some gameplay up of where I'm actually really good and proficient with it it's just unnatural at the moment to still press the spacebar to um, aim down sight but af after you're done you know you you playing the game whenever you're ready to get out of it you hold control and escape 
to exit and um, so you can like, I, like to recap you can change the buttons to your feeling and uh, I lost my train of thought well I'm gonna pause it okay to recap you can change the buttons however you want another thing I guess I've kind of forgot you if you don't like your sensitivity which, which uh, on the PS3 years has to be on maximum insane for Black Ops 2 for sensitivity 14 the mouse settings you can change it I left mine on default except for the DPI which is the speed it is by default 800, which I do not like at all. It is very, very slow in my opinion. This is default with insane, or whatever. It's look sensitivity, and that's default. That is way too slow for me. So I made my mouse settings 200, which I feel is just about perfect. Because I like, I like fast sensitivity. So, uh, that's how you change your actual sensitivity. If I'm... I, I don't know. I've, I really haven't messed with these, so I'm not exactly sure what they do. I'm sure that you can find it out in the help or about. No, you can't find about it in the about. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm mistaken. But you can change your... That, that's all I know is a sensitivity. But after you're done messing around with all these settings, you can do the circle test, and that will make your character do a circle with these selected settings, except for the speed. So, well, I don't know. Let's move the speed up to 35. Well, I'm, I'm feeling risky. That makes your circle go a little bit faster. <laughs> I don't know, I'm messing around. But that's it, guys. If you have any questions, comment. Maybe I'll add you on Skype or something. We can talk about it. Um, that's it. I'll probably have a tutorial for the other program, the Cronus. There's a guy right behind me. I can see his shadow. The Cronus configuration. Maybe I'll have one of, of that later. But that's it, guys. Peace.